Okay, I'm here with Mike Schoen. We're looking at a lot of motorcycles, but there's uh, there's a bit of a rhyme and reason to this this particular row of motorcycles. Uh, Michael, why don't you tell us what this is about? Well, this row here represents what would have been uh, on a grid in a uh, TT race in the Phoenix area uh, in, say, 1970 or 1971. Okay. And... Uh, now, what, what kind of race did you call it? They're called TT racing. They don't do it much anymore, but it was the, the big, uh, one of the big races in those days. You have a, a track that have right and left turns. It was hard packed dirt and a couple jumps. It have a, a, a big wide turn called a sweeper and it'd probably have a hairpin. Uh, and sometimes they hear that Manzanita, they ran them uh, under the lights and, uh, West Phoenix. I used to race there at that time, 1970, 1971, and they also raced a place called Beardsley. Okay. And they raced down in Tucson by the airport. Okay. Uh, so a race like that, I'm imagining, kind of lends itself to some design considerations on a motorcycle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, this was this was for the open class, the big bore class. All the these bikes. Big bore open. Okay. Uh, yeah. It'd be above uh, 250 cc. So they, so this is a Bull Taco 360, an early uh, two-stroke, uh, you know, powerful bike. I never saw one of those win, but they came pretty close. This is a Rickman, which was an English uh, uh, version using usually Triumph motors. Uh, this was the first uh, successful two-stroke that I saw. I raced against one of these, a Mako. Uh, 390 and a Mako 401 uh, single cylinder two stroke. They were really fast bikes. These were two, the, the standard bike in that era, the bike to have that was always won the most was the Triumph uh, 750 or 650 twin. And these are two bikes that were came out of Texas that had won national races. So they were ridden by guys who were, uh, uh, you know, famous and well-known and champion so so these bikes are the actual bikes that won those races well that, yeah these are yeah i've got written down here on this tag who won okay this bike and this other bike same thing and uh and big d big d cycles in dallas texas got these running again and put them back together they bought them from the guy who was a mechanic and made them up this bike i bought on ebay but what came with it was a picture of the guy who raced this in Pennsylvania really? with a lot of trophies. And I never could figure out, you know, who he was, but uh, he, he definitely had been winning. Okay. And this bike is set up to win. It's a really nicely set up bike. Can you point out some things for someone like me that doesn't know much about it? What are things you would do to set it up for winning? Can well, first of that? all, you want to take all the junk off it to make it lightweight. Second of all, it's got a little, a tiny seat that's done from fiberglass. It's lightweight. It's got a fiberglass tank with two chambers, one for the engine oil, and one for the gas. So you save a little bit of weight there. No front fender. It's got the, the, the aftermarket lightweight forks called Chiriani forks. Okay. And it's got the, the headers or pipes that are tuned to give the maximum power at high revs. Okay. They call those TT pipes. This bike here is the same thing. This bike was the uh, short course bike for the Tucson Triumph dealer. Okay. So he had a, a bike with a trick frame that they usually ran, and when they got to as a reserve bike or the short course bike, they had run this bike. And I bought that. It was pretty junky and put it back together over a period of time. It also has a Triumph twin engine on it. It's a Triumph twin, yeah. It's the, that's the, uh, the go-to bike. And then... Here is the BSA uh, a counter or, or uh, a challenge to the Triumph bike. This is called a BSA Hornet. And uh, there was a great guy in Phoenix race one of these. His name was, the last name was Gabbert, but his first name was, uh, but Lakin, L-A-K-I-N. Okay. Was his first name. And he ended up teaching uh, flying up in Prescott. But boy, when, when he was on, this it was a sight to see this guy. No it kidding. Was dynamite. Now this bike was the bike that won most of the, when the, the one season I raced at Manzanita. Uh, 
which was a winter season. I, I can't remember. I think it was. But we raced at night in between the uh, the cars. Really? So the okay. The cars had raced race a race, and we had, they had raced us in the outside oval, and we had used part of the outside oval and a couple turns on the inside. And so uh, this was a Byron Bowes. Byron Bowes raced one of these. It's only got a single cylinder man, and I drove that once in the parking lot, and that thing was really fast, and he was a beautiful racer who conserved energy. Absolutely beautiful. Huh. And here's the poster they made here. Oh, wow. That uh, BSA made and said, Byron Bowes, Arizona State champion, blah, blah. But, Interesting. Uh, yeah, but that was, and I remember going there in 1969 at night at Manzanita. You know, there was people up in the grandstands, and everybody was down in the center of the field that had the vehicles that were racing. And I remember, they, and I, of course, I came all by myself and left by myself, but it was, uh, it was, uh, Kind of a interesting introduction to racing to do that. So and that's it. That's so was that your first uh, first time you raced? Was in the se early seventies, nineteen seventy or no, something? No, not probably nineteen sixty nine. Probably okay. the winter of nineteen sixty nine. I can't remember. Yeah. About then, but uh, you know, it was. Uh, it might have been in nineteen seventy when you race something like this on a TT course. You've got a lot of horsepower, so you're, you've got a bike that'll do the quarter mile in about 13 seconds, and and you're and you're doing right turns, left turns, and jumps, and you're going up against other people. So it's not that hard, is it, to transition to a sports car on a on a road course that has right and left turns and elevation changes. So and and and, and so, but these are really good bikes. I can't. Uh, this was a, this is the fastest one. Um, and I never run the, the Mako yet. That might be very fast at, at lower speed. And these look like some of these are unrestored. It seems like they were rescued out of somewhere that wasn't yeah, really. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right, right. They're all, I, I didn't want to, uh, if I could help it, restore them to be as new. I just want them like as race. Well, that's really cool. I mean, if, you know, handlebars got, a little bit of rust yeah. and so on, but that's the handlebars that were on the race, you know? That's yeah, yeah. fantastic. Yeah, the guy, uh, yeah, these were, and at the time, that, not that many people were interested in them. Right. Uh, but uh, they were, uh, you know, that was a pretty exciting race to do that. It was, uh, I'll bet it was. It was. Uh, it was a good deal. And there, here's the, here's the production triumphs. Okay. These were, these were the production racers. So they have the same pipes. Then the, the, the real, the heavy duty racers, they would take these forks and get rid of them, put on the lightweight Chiriani forks. They get rid of the seat and put on the lightweight seat. Yeah, the and fender, obviously. They get rid of the fender. Yep. And, uh, so that's what they would start with is right that's there. That's what they'd start with would be this bike. But a lot of guys didn't have the, 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 the money to, to buy the factory racing version. They just get whatever Triumph they could find mm -hmm. and start working on it. And in those days, the dealers sponsored uh, bikes, so their bikes are pretty good. Sure. Uh, and, uh, you know, it was um, entertainment, I guess, for, a, it was probably a Friday night or Saturday night. Yeah, and, that's a lot uh, of fun. Yeah. Wow, well, was, thank you for showing us around, telling us about yeah, that, Mike. Yeah. It was a little scary. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet it was. <laughs>